This is the rotation we're going with to start out the ALCS. It starts with number two. Buckholds gets the game one nod just because Hamels and Lester and even Parker are not quite fully rested yet. So it'll go Buckholds, then Parker, then back to Lester and Hamels. So you can take a look simulating up to the first elimination game. And we take a 3-1 series lead. So take a look at this Baltimore Orioles uh, team. And they have two main new additions, Yadier Molina and Jose Abreu. Now, Yadier Molina in upper 90s overall. Jose Abreu, not quite the uh, power-hitting beast that he is in real life. He's only like an 82, which is still very respectable, but not quite the uh, triple crown threat that he is in real life. So, anyway, that still uh, makes them a pretty solid team, surrounded by the other guys. So, they still have like Adam Jones, um, Manny Machado, and some good pitchers. But today, it's going to be Miguel Gonzalez and Clay Buckholtz dueling it out in Game 5 with a chance for the Red Sox to go back to the World Series for the first time since 2013. They take a 3-1 series lead into Camden Yards here for Game 5 of this series. So take a look at the series recap so far, and you can see we won every game except for Game 3. The first game back in Baltimore, Troy Patton got the win in that bullpen battle there. As you can see, Taylor also got the loss. So you can see, actually it's not Miguel Gonzalez. I said Miguel Gonzalez pitching, I mean Kevin Gaussman, who I believe is our first round pick in the 2012 MLB Draft. First year player draft, and obviously will be opposed by Clay Buckholtz, uh, another former top pitching prospect, turned into a pretty solid pitcher. And uh, Buckholtz has a history of pitching in some pretty big games for us in this series. If you remember a couple years ago, he had a couple really big wins, and that's uh, postseason. I think he was pretty solid last year, too. So he's a guy that we went out and traded Parker for because of my concern that Buckholtz maybe wasn't great as a number three in the postseason. But We'll see if he can get it done today. So Dustin Madroy getting things started with a strikeout there. Kevin Gaussman gets him on the slider. Now three batters later, two outs in the inning, and another slider for a strikeout. This time, the victim is Giancarlo Stanton, and Gaussman gets through the first. Take a look at the uh, Baltimore Orioles lineup here. So like I said, pretty similar to the real-life lineup, uh, except they do have Jamayo Weeks playing second base. And like I said, they've added Yadier Molina and Jose Abreu. Take a look at Clay Buckholz, the stats in the regular season. 3-1-6 ERA, only 169 strikeouts, but still a very, very good season for Clay Buckholz. And he gets to the first, despite letting runner get to third with two outs. He gets Jones to ground out to the second baseman there. So both bat or both pitchers threw one inning. Scoreless so far. Mike Napoli up with one out in the top of the second. He's going to ground that one back up the middle for a base hit, and he will try to get this thing started for the Red Sox to see just the second base runner of the evening so far. So two batters later, Grant Chikini up with two outs. And he's going to line this one to left field. Delman Young dies but cannot make the play. Napoli rounding second, heading for third. Throw goes to the cutoff man instead of straight to third. Bad awareness by Delman Young right there. And I'm not quite sure why Delman Young's out and left when Xavier Paul's DHing, But, oh well, you can blame Buck Showalter for that one. But anyway, Gaussman comes back and strikes out Swihart on the high changeup. And he gets out of the jam. So we're still through an inning and a half scoreless. On to the bottom of the second inning. Jose Abreu up for his first AB already one out. 0-2 count. And that splitter gets Abreu chasing. They're looking foolish. Great pitch from Clay Buckle tonight. It's his first strikeout of the evening. So here we go later in the uh, bottom of the third. Now 0-2 counts to Jemaya Weeks. And Weeks strikes out in the cutter. And take a look at the, uh, we'll show you the pitch tracker here. This is when you know Buckle is on. He's got great stuff. It's often just this command that gets away from him. And when he's keeping everything down like this, low and away, low and away, and then low and in, you know he's going to have a good night. So great cutter right there for strike three. On to the top of the fourth. Still scoreless here, 1-1. The count to Yohan Cespedes, who crushes one to deep right center. That's going to one-hop up off the wall. Cespedes on his way to second. He's going to take the turn and head for third. The throw to third is not in time. And Cespedes is in there with a leadoff triple to get things going here in the top of the fourth inning. So a big, big hit from Yohannes Cespedes. He will look to get a rally started here. Now Mike Napoli up next, the 3-1 count to Napoli. He's going to take that inside slider for ball four. So now first and third with no one out for the next batter, who will be Xander Bogarts. Now Bogarts, even at the count on two and two, the pitch from Gaussman, and he takes it for strike three. Borderline call there. Probably should have at least tried to foul that off with two strikes. But next batter is Garrett Chikini, who fists this one out to left field. Young makes the play. Here comes Cespedes. Young takes his time. Throw home. Not in time. So Young has a cannon for an arm out there and left, but he one-hops it and sort of took his time out there. A couple bad plays from Delman Young so far. Not surprisingly, he's not a very good fielder, but... Run comes home, one nothing Boston now, two outs in the inning. Swihart up next, he's going to ground this one back up the middle for a base hit. Napoli will hold at second, and it is a two-out base hit for Blake Swihart. Puts runners on first and second with two men out for Dustin Majoria, the first pitch of the A.B. Majoria lines this one down the left field line for a base hit. Here comes Napoli, Young comes up with it, he'll throw home again. This time, it's not in time again. 
And it's going to advance runners up to second and third. Now the second run comes home for the Red Sox, and it's 2 nothing. Ben Zobrist up next. Zobrist flies one to deep left field. Young this time camps under it, and this time he makes the correct play, and that will get Gaussman out of the inning. But two runs come home for the Red Sox, and we jump out on top early. And uh, or I should jump out on top first. Now here we go. Adam Jones trying to steal second, and Blake Swihart guns him out at second base. A beautiful throw from Blake Swihart. And now here we go in the bottom of the fifth. Jose Abreu already one strikeout today on the splitter. This time he goes down in the changeup. His second K of the day. And Buckholz has settled in now and is in cruise control. Top of the six. 0-2 counts to Mike Napoli. Napoli goes down in the splitter. Gaussman also settling in a little bit. Certainly uh, not letting that one inning get to him. Now top of the six. Still Garen Cicchini up. Cicchini hits one high and deep to right center field. Jones, he's looking up. And it is gone. Garen Cicchini, a solo home run. And the Red Sox extend their lead now. It is three to nothing. Chikini, not known to be a power hitter, but he has had a couple big home runs for us throughout this uh, season, and he does it again here. A solo job that puts us back on top, or actually we were still on top, but it extends our lead now as we go up three to nothing. So Garen Chikini, a man who was almost replaced at the deadline, the Mookie Betts injury probably saved his job, and that's going to do it for Kevin Gaussman. Chikini forces Gaussman out of this game. Buck Showalter on his way to take out the young arm, and he will make a call to his bullpen. Darren O'Day will be on his way. Gossman doesn't really tip his cap there, but uh, Darren O'Day on his way in. He struggled this postseason. He's allowed, I think, six earned runs and, or maybe five earned runs in seven innings so far. Top of the six still. He actually gets Pedroia to strike out here on, I don't know, changeup or something, whatever that was, some sinking pitch. Maybe it was a sinker. I don't know. But he gets Darren O'Day to, or he gets Pedroia to go. Now one two counts to Marquecas in the bottom half of the sixth inning, and Marquecas cannot check his swing there on the dirty splitter from Buckholz. That's a pitch he had working all night long. So we're through six, three nothing Red Sox. The Orioles only have nine outs left to save their season, and Buckholz is dealing right now only allowing four hits so far. Kevin Slowey is going to come on for the Baltimore Orioles in relief, maybe eat up a couple innings here as a former starter turn reliever. Probably a long reliever for this team. Ben Zobrist up bottom of the seventh to lead things off. And Zobrist hits a towering shot to deep right center field. This one is going to go off the wall out there. And right, Marcakis plays it. He will fire it into the cutoff. Man, Zobrist holds it second, but it's a leadoff double for our left fielder, Ben Zobrist. Now, after he moves up to third on a sack fly from uh, Alan Craig, he's going to end up coming home here on the scrum ball from Stan. And the third baseman decides to throw to first instead of throwing to home. Maybe could have had Zobrist there. But it's an RBI grounder for Stanton, and we extend our lead now 4 to nothing. And then Jose Abreu, his third strikeout of the day, only one away from wearing the golden sombrero. Another one in the changeup, still bottom seven. And this time it's J.J. Hardy going down by way of that changeup. Clay Buckles had to work all night long. That's going to be strikeouts number five and six on the evening. And he is through seven scoreless. So here we go, top of the eighth. Runner on first, Garen Cicchini up. Cicchini's going to ground this one past the second baseman into right field for a base set. That's going to give us two men on with one man out here for the next batter. Will be Blake Swihart. He fakes the bunt. Pulls it back and slashes that one back up the middle for a base hit. Napoli, he's going to come around and try to test Adam Jones' arm. Throw home. He in time, and Mike Napoli's gunned out at the plate. So again, the Red Sox running into some outs here, but later in the inning, bases loaded two outs. Zobrist lines it, but it's caught by Javaya Weeks, a leaping grab. And that gets the Orioles out of the inning, keeping the score at 4 to nothing. Now bottom of the 8-2 away, 0-2 count to Jamayo Weeks. And Weeks is going to ground this one to the second baseman, Bedoya, on to first in time. And Buckholz through eight scoreless innings so far. We're going to try to back out there for the ninth. First batter of the inning is Nick Marquecas' first pitch, and he's going to ground this one sharply to the second baseman, Bedoya, on to first. That's in time, so that helps out Buckholz. He's at 104 pitches right now. And quick outs is what he could use. Yeah, here Molina though battling here. This is a seven pitch AB so far. The two two count. Molina grounds it softly to Chikini. Chikini to first in time. Two away. The Orioles are down to their final out, and it will be up to Adam Jones to try and save this season. 0 1 count. Jones. He's gonna line this one into right field. That'll fall in front of Stanton for a base hit, and the Orioles are not dead yet. So still two away. Jones reaches first safely. Next batter is going to be Manny Machado. First pitch of the A-B to Machado. Buckholz from the stretch. Ground ball, second base. Pedroia flips to Bogarts in time, and the Boston Red Sox are moving on to the World Series. They win the pennant. They knock off the Baltimore Orioles, an 83-win wildcard team that made it all the way to the ALCS and looked like a magical run, but the Red Sox halted that run and they take the ALCS final series score of four to one we win game five four to nothing and that's going to do it so the Red Sox are on their way to the first world series since 2013 and their uh what's that their fourth pennant in the last 12 years so big big win for the world series for the uh for the Red Sox 
and they'll move on to the World Series. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. I'm not going to reveal. I, last time I did this, you guys pointed out that I actually showed the postseason bracket at the beginning of the video, and I, I'm not sure if I did again this time. But anyway, um, Buckles is your player of the game. He 115 pitch shutout. He was phenomenal all game long. Only six strikeouts. Wasn't exactly dominant, but still so good, so good. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you did enjoy. Doesn't matter. Peace.